part of the rock for you. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, Frank and I have made the judgment call to skip two miles? <laughs> yeah. Two miles off the trail and then just make the straight vertical climb up. But, uh... How high did it? 2,000? 2,000 foot of elevation gain in a mile. Yeah, so we're gaining, yeah, around 2,000 foot of elevation gain in a mile. Uh, and, uh... We'll, uh, we'll see how that pans out for us. <laughs> it's pretty steep just looking at it. Did we say on the podcast that uh, no shortcuts ever been shorter? Yeah, we, that may be true. We'll definitely be going slow. Good lord. It is steep, but it. we took off at a little after midnight. We drew this, we put in for this tag through a buddy of ours that lives up in you know, Wyoming, uh, he, he told us to put in for it. We've never hunted up here in this, this area in Wyoming, so we were kind of going in blind. We looked at Google Earth and did all the normal crap. We got some advice from him, but we we're trying to figure out, he's got horses, so we're trying to figure out an easier way to, to get in there with, you know, 10 days of gear and not, not kill ourselves. So we'll see how this works out for us. Definitely be using the walking sticks. <laughs> it's all part of the fun and adventure of hunting. I've got to get some sun on my legs. Two thousand feet of miles just like double the double the uh, tower trail. Yeah. We'll double film the elevation. Yeah, we'll film it on the way up. And. Uh, Show everyone our pain and suffering. This is super steep. Good lord. I don't know if it was worth it skipping off the trail or not. Yeah, Frank went. Oh gee, this a little bit different route. Hopefully. This was better than mine. This cuts, I don't know, a mile and a half. Two miles off the trail, but holy cow, it's bad. Yeah, and we're still climbing. That's about parallel to the ground. Or right, that's about, it's about like a trekking pole vertical with the camera about parallel. I don't know, 37, 45 degrees, probably 37 degrees slope. But it's better than being at work. I'm kind of fat. I'm fucking dying. I'm just about to come out of tree line now. Which is good. I hope. We made it. To the trail. It ended up being every bit as steep as we thought it would be. How did I take this? Huh? <laughs> hour and ten minutes. Hour and ten minutes. Uh, for we're not all the way up and over. Do we gain fourteen hundred feet? From the truck? Yeah. Maybe sixteen hundred feet from the truck. Yeah. It was steep. Breaking a little bit of trail up here, about 12,000 feet. Where's your crampons, bro? 
I should have used the chopper to get up here. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Oh, <laughs> he almost died. He's fatter than me. How the fuck are you not falling through? I'm using the force. I'm one with the force. Gonna drink it? No, I'm just not gonna drink any for a few minutes. <laughs> Cause we're probably gonna end up camping right there, aren't we? Yeah, probably on the back side. Of yeah. So we blast up. Probably 60 elk summer feeding patterns are up high. Um, a few deer, but we don't have a deer tag for this area. Uh, the winds are just crazy, kind of gusting back and forth. So I, I gotta put on some sunscreen, my ass is getting fried. Um, we're gonna head over, there's a lake over here. We're just gonna go over and take a look at it in case we put Kaylee and Amy back. super tarp. Aaron is snoozing away. It's only about 8.30 and Aaron is fast asleep. I'm trying. <laughs> just kidding. We just got back to the tarps. Uh, pretty long day. Hiked in about eight, between 8 and 9 miles. My legs hurt. Aaron's legs hurt. Um, my lungs hurt. It was a, it was a pretty good hike. We, uh, we skipped the trail in search of a shortcut which ended up being a shitty idea as sometimes it may be we um take a look at my, take a look at my pad here so I'm running the super tarp Aaron is running a Hilleberg onion um this is typically how I run it when I'm hunting so I'll put my pad and the ground cloth here's just some scrap TP fabric from work um and then I organize all my gear on the left side which is my pack my boots took the insoles out so they can dry out um and then we got binos, camera, food bag, water, and uh, running the running the quilt this weekend. Uh, so it was a good trip. We some people might say it's a little early for scouting, but we're not necessarily scouting for animals. We're scouting for places to camp, possible places where we can get water and stuff like that. So um, it's been fun I'm running this new pad. Had it out probably five or six nights so far. Neo Light, Neo Air X Light Max SV. Um, so far, so good. It's a little bit wider than the uh, X Light. It is 16 ounces, so it's a pound, a little bit heavier, but it's super comfy. And uh, Aaron's been farting all day, so. Just kidding, that was me. I've been farting all day, eating mango. It's that Aquamira, man. Aquamira, mango. Two breakfast burritos this morning probably didn't help too much, um, but we have seen some animals, so it's been a good day. And I will check back with you tomorrow. So getting kind of ready for bed, and uh, normally Frank's sleeping in a tarp. Normally, if I'm going to be sleeping in a quilt tonight, I haven't done that in a while. So, uh, meaning like years. What'd you say, Frank? Pray for you. Frank said pray for me. Um, 
So normally I'll try to sleep with my socks off. It toughens your feet up. It dries them out a little bit. Um, but I'm not doing that tonight. I just changed them out and hung my old ones up here. And then uh, I usually try to take something to go to sleep. This is an uh, on it Total Primate Care Night Pack. I also take Benadryl sometimes. Frank, do you take anything? Um, no. That was a hard no by Frank. Um, this is, I don't even know what's all in this, but I know it makes me sleep. It's just a pile of different pills. And uh, I'll take those a couple hours, hour and a half before bed. And uh, what I'm hoping is these will kick in right after it gets pretty dark and the stars come out. Otherwise, I'll get up super early and take some night photos. But uh, yeah, it was pretty good today. We, was that eight miles in? At least. A long way. Um, yeah, quite a ways in, and then we glassed, based it over this way for the afternoon, and then uh, came back and ate a lot, and uh, climbed up above quite a ways um, from camp right here. I don't know, I think that peak was 12.6 on my GPS. Uh, and we glassed up there, found quite a few, a bunch of, uh, bunch of elk, but, uh, yeah, good so far, it's, it's, it's definitely good to at least get out, um, we haven't been at this altitude, well, we were close to this altitude, um, last week, but not putting out this type of, uh, effort, that initial climb we had was just ridiculous, we, we skipped, uh, we didn't take the trail, we passed it and uh, just shot straight up to the trail, um, which ended up cutting quite a bit of mile, mileage off, but um, mother of pearl, it was, it, was, uh, it was steep, super steep, so anyhow, I think uh, I'm going to lay down for a while, might take some photos later on, try to get some uh, nightscapes, and then tomorrow morning we're going to get up and start glassing again and then I think we're staying tonight and tomorrow night and then heading back out we're going to head out a different route to uh check the this other trail and then dump our packs up and walk or hitchhike back to the road hopefully some uh hunter friendly liberal or whatever picks us up um this uh this area we're not we're not in Colorado so there's a lot more hunter friendly people here in Colorado you get because of the uh, Republic of Boulder you're, you're not always going to have a warm welcome when someone sees you coming in with a spotting scope so hopefully have we have better luck uh, here than we do in Colorado when we try and hitchhike <laughs> so I've got kind of everything set up for um, for going to bed but I got uh, kind of everything laid out same same way I do when I'm hunting um, I always sleep in a, a beanie hat, but um, I keep, I got a stove right here uh, for ready for coffee, and then I've got a six liter uh, MSR drum light. Sometimes I'll put my boots in here, but it's not gonna be that cold, so I got them out here um, in the vestibule. Uh, depending upon how much, how, if I have a lot of wet stuff or not, or whatever, I'll put that in the vestibule, but I lay my gear out just left to right, um, in, in kind of order just so I can see it so like uh, this is just actually so it doesn't blow away the tent bag with the stakes and I usually just chuck that in the back end and then I got my my pack and in that is uh, my spotting scope things like that and I'll usually leave that in there um, this here is just uh, it's a Smith sunglasses case but it's full of my backup batteries and cleaning cloths and things like that. I got a lens here, baseball hat, toilet paper and some wet wipes. Um, this is my medical kit, uh, cleaning kit, so toothbrush, contact solution, things like that. Um, I used to not worry about keeping my, my binoculars on the, you know, the inside of the, um, you know, the tent, but sometimes, you know, depending, um, you can get I haven't had it happen in a long time, but I've, I've left these out and I've actually had um, uh, marmots 
eat the shoulder straps off of my um, uh, my, my backpack and my, my harness. Now, I will say it's weird if I'm sleeping in a floorless shelter um, and I'm right by it, it doesn't seem to make as big of a difference, but I don't know if it's enclosed in a four-season tent or, or what, but I try to put it on the inside of the uh, uh, tent if I can, and that just depends on what shelter I'm wearing or what I'm using. Um, this is my Possibles pouch, and that's got, in fact, I need to pull it out right now, my um, headlamp, and then uh, my inReach, and then a bunch of other repair kit stuff. Um, it's an SE knife. This is the Azula, and uh, got a bunch of cord in here, and things like that. Fire starter. I keep all that pretty much at the ready. This is my Nikon D850 camera. I got a 14 to 24 on there because we're gonna do some nightscapes. On my food bag, coffee, stuff like that. I've got my Nalgene here, and this has got electrolyte drink mix in it. Um, and then I have that bladder, like I said in the beginning of the video out there for, for coffee, because I'll usually drink a coffee first thing when I wake up. Um, I do this, it's pretty much the exact same thing when I'm hunting. The only thing, obviously, I've got a weapon. I lay that on top of everything for the most part. And I'll have a few other odds and ends. And I pretty much never, ever hang up my food. It's always inside the, the tent with me. Um, I probably should hang it up, but I don't, so... Anyway, that's how I kind of got it laid out. I, I didn't do that earlier. I heard Frank doing it. He was doing a video, so I figured I'd copy him. Um, this here is just, this is actually a prototype Swazi super crazy lightweight rain jacket. That's going to be my pillow along with my, uh, it's a Montbello, Montbell Air pillow. It's kind of a piece of shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Frank's laughing. It, it, it is a piece of shit. I mean, it's super lightweight, but it sucks. It definitely feels like you're sleeping on a balloon. Your head bounces around. Um, what I've done since it's only, I don't know what it weighs, two or three ounces, I kind of let some of the air out and it just fills kind of a gap up and then I cover it with clothing, but I would not suggest buying this thing. Um, what's yours, Cocoon? Cocoon, yeah. It's Cocaine, Ricky. <laughs> you don't want none of this shit. It's, uh, his is a Cocoon and it's a better material in the sense of more comfortable. Um, and it's kind of, it's fleece on one side, isn't it? Yeah. I'm pretty sure he stole it from me, but he said he didn't. Oh, shit. See? Told you. Um, so, yeah, don't buy this, but a, a pillow is not a horrible idea sometimes. Anyhow, I'm going to try and sleep for a while before we take some photos. It's morning time. I'm making coffee. Frank, are you making coffee or eating? I'm eating cereal. Frank's eating cereal. Off-grid. What kind? Off-grid. No, what? Mango. Oh, Frank has strawberry mango. Dang. I just had coffee. The wind cranked last night. All night. Well, not all night long, but quite a bit. But we're just going to get up and start glassing again. I'm, I'm, hope, I'm hoping Frank doesn't want to climb to the top of that hill again, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see. Where do you want? You want to hike to the top of that thing again? I don't care. It wasn't that bad. Alright, we're hiking out. Found a lot of animals. Found some spots to camp, some water. Lots of water. Aaron is leading the way. So, we're gonna go get some damn kombuchas, buddy. Peanut butter bars, candy bars. Schnozberries. So, we'll be there soon.